Hello. Hello, this is uh, Dakota Fred, Treasures and Other Stuff. Uh, <laughs> this is definitely other stuff. I got an old 99 Ford uh, F-150, and uh, it's got over 200,000 miles on it, and I have never, ever changed the uh, fuel filter in this thing. I watched a little video online. It looked like it was really helpful, but I'm going to find out if it's really the real deal. If it is, I'm going to give kudos to the guy that put that uh, video on YouTube because uh, I hope it works. We're going to see how it goes. Here we go. All right, one thing we did do, we drove it up on some uh, stands, both front tires, and we put a couple of chocks in the back. Up on there. All ready to go. The man said the first thing you do, check, get rid of the uh, pressure on a fuel line. Uh, he says it's underneath the hood somewhere. We're going to look and see if that's what it is. Yeah, it's raining out here. Uh, here in the hood right there, there's your front end. I put a little light up there. There's all your cover for all your injection stuff. And there is fuel rail. And if you look right there in the back, right back there, is a little thing with a cap on the top of it. The man in the video said to pull that off and put a screwdriver in there and it will relieve the pressure. We're gonna find out if that's true. Yeah? It turns out that that little thing in the back back there, unscrews and there it is all right let's see if that works now I'll take a screwdriver and see if we can just kind of put a little oh look it squirted a little fuel out of there oh it's just like a tire pressure type thing okay it just relieved the pressure right there, so it won't go squirting out no more. All right, let's put that thing back on. Let's put that cap back on that thing. That's just like a tire, uh, like a tire pressure type thing. It's got a little uh, check valve in there, and to let the pressure off. All right. Kind of tight in there for large hands, but uh, it does work. We're screwing the uh, cap back on the fuel line pressure release valve right here. There, it's all back together again, and we release the pressure off on the fuel line. All right, uh, before we did all this stuff, we went down to our friendly little uh, auto parts place and asked us for a fuel filter for a 99 Ford with a X number of small V8 in it. And they gave us this in a little box. And I happily went home and I see that it's got the direction of the fuel line on and everything. Uh, but they neglected to tell me that it takes a special tool to remove the clips on the end of this. So, a day or so later, when I decided to really get serious with all this stuff, I had to go down and I had to find one of these little things. Some little, they have to buy a whole kit, a whole bunch of these things for one little plastic doodad. A little plastic tool for removing the uh, ends on a fuel, whatever they call them. They're not clamps anymore. These are special uh, little uh, ends on these uh, before they go on the end of these little filters. Well, the last one of these I changed was on, holy cow, I can't even remember when. But you always use a little hose clamp on the end of them or a clip of some kind. Not on a Ford 99, no. Special tool, here it is. So, I've selected one that looks like it's gonna fit the shaft of that filter. I had to pay 10 bucks just to get that little tool. 
I understand there's a method of doing it with a Sharpie, but I just decided, well, let me do it the right way. We'll check it out. We're going to find out if that works the way they say it's going to work. I've never changed a fuel, fuel filter on a Ford like this, uh, the old 99, and uh, we're going to see if it's just as easy as they say it is. So here we go. Now that we've got the uh, pressure bled off on the fuel line inside the engine there, we're going to go try to locate where the fuel filter is. According to the video that I watched, this young man said it was underneath the driver's door, right underneath here somewhere. We're going to crawl underneath here, and we're going to look and see if we can find that thing. All right. There's a truck up there. And uh, here's this 73-year-old dude trying to crawl up underneath this truck and show you just where this thing is. All righty. I'm going to turn this camera around. And it should be right up in there. And there it is. Just like he said it was. And it's got some clips on the end of it. All right. Here I am laying upside down here. <laughs> A little tight squeeze for an old man. Oh, and there it is. It's under there. It's just like he said it was. And there's a, a little blue fuel line running into it with some clips. Some kind of a clip coming out of it. I don't know if you can see any of that, but it's got a clip. And it's got a black line running out of it. And that's the flow direction, that direction from the fuel tank back there to the engine this way. All right. So far, everything is really cool. Guy really knew what he was talking about. I really appreciate that. <clears throat> now, remember, this is the first time I've seen this thing. This truck is, uh, let's see, 99. This truck is 18 years old. And it's never had this filter changed. It's got some kind of a little clip on here. I don't know what this is. Okay, it's just a spring-loaded clip. But it's not going to come out of there until we get these things loose. Okay, it's some sort of a... Hmm. You push them up. And you push it forward somewhere or another here. And then you pop it off. Just like that what the man said so let's see what this one does I'm going to push this is a little tougher because it's got a line right in the way of it let's see okay you push it up you push it up that's what it is you push this little thing up like that and then you slide it forward and then you push it off out of the way all right very good now these things don't just come off they require a special tool and this is the thing I had to run back and pay ten dollars for a little tool let me show you the tool there it is, right there. Little plastic dude. Ah, uh, nothing like dirty, dirty hands. You can expect to get plenty dirty underneath this truck. All right. Let's see if that's the right one. I don't even think that's the right one. Guess what? That's the wrong size. Looks to me. Maybe not. I can't tell. That's the right size. Looks like it. Looks like the right size. Let's see if we can get it on there. First of all, you want to put it on, see that little uh, slit in there? You want to try to figure out how to get that slit slipping over the top of that. This is going to take re require two hands to get that thing on there. I can tell you that right now. So, it's going to take both hands, no camera right now. And you got to point it into the unit right like that. Okay? But it's going to take two hands to get it on there. Pretty tough. 
All right, got it maneuvered on there. See if I can, yeah, I pushed it down on there. Now there's a split. I'm gonna push it, and it says shove that up in there a little bit. Okay, it wasn't too hard. Just kind of spread it a little bit before I shoved it onto there. Now, here's the part that may get a little bit of fuel. So, uh, we'll see how things work here. All right, I got those uh, little clips in there, that clip on that one side there, and I brought some uh, paper towels along with me. I have a funny feeling that we're gonna get a big drip out of this thing, so I'm gonna put some paper towels in here we can catch some drips right here. I'm sure it's going to be running all over. I'm going to get out of the way of it when I take it loose. We'll see how this works. Now I do have a regular pair of pliers. If I can find those over here somewhere. Alright, let's move this out of the way just a little. Now, just take a regular pair of pliers Put those inside of there a little bit between the housing and the, the little tool. If we can get them in there. Hmm. Get up in there. All right. Okay, I got them in there. Now I'm just going to push. I'm going to pry these back this way. What we're trying to do, <clears throat> we're pushing, we're pushing on some uh, little uh, clamps in there that hold that in there some way or another. We're going to see how hard that is to get out of there. Unfortunately, it's going to take both hands to do this, so I'm not going to be able to video it. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. We're trying to push the blue little tool up inside, up inside of this, right there. And it, what it does, there's three little clamps that have to be spread open, and then the line will pop off. We'll see if that actually works or not. I'm gonna try to do it with one hand here and video it at the same time. Seems to be moving a little bit. I don't know if it's enough yet, though. I remember the thing been on for 18 years. So we're gonna see if how much trouble we're having here trying to get that thing out of there. I'm just pushing on it, trying to try to hold the camera and use the left hand. Two. See what we're doing here. Can we? <clears throat> okay, I have been struggling and struggling to try to get this thing off. I can see the tool has pushed itself up in there and it's kind of holding uh, a little thing right there. It's all the way up in there, almost all the way. And I have been struggling to try to get this off for about several minutes with a pair of pliers and everything else and jerked on it with the, my hand and it has not come off yet. Course, I guess 18 years it decided it wanted to stay on there for a little while. I'm going to jerk on it a little bit longer. I'm going to push on that little doodad, this little blue thing, trying to shove it up inside this fitting here to spread those little jaws apart so it will come off. Uh, I don't know what the problem is. I'm trying to rotate the uh, blue thing around a little bit so it will slide off. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to get it off. It takes two hands to do this, so no camera, but uh, we'll try to explain how much difficulty we're having getting this thing off. All right, 
despite all my efforts I have not been able to get this off and it appears this little thing is just inadequate for the job I don't know what the problem is here I'm gonna push it in on this side here and maybe it'll come off over here I don't know what's going on I pushed it in there as far as I can get it it's deforming not as easy as it looks uh, <clears throat> we're gonna try it again we're gonna shove it up in there with some pliers again I'm gonna see if I can do it I'll put it in a different position this time now it's up it's coming off now it appears to have released but the uh, line is not coming off not yet anyway I'm gonna try both hands trying to uh, pull that thing off well, I've got that held just like that. Let's see what happens. I'm going to have to put the camera down. Oops, that's not good. It finally, uh, we had to take flyers, put them on there. Whoop right-handed there and slam the side of the pliers to get that thing to come off it finally did the uh, little blue thing was up in there plenty far and it was kind of locked in there and I slammed the side of the pliers with my hand with my fist the palm of my hand and it knocked it off finally got it off one side let's see what we can do about the other side now okay I've got the uh, one line off from this thing, the one in a, from the coming from the fuel tank to the filter. I'm going to see if I can get the other one off. Uh, it looks like I could maybe pull that out of. Uh oh, we got a fuel leak dripping here. Not enough towels, I guess. Uh, we're going to pull that uh, filter out toward the front, let it just hang down. Might want to go get me some more. Uh, uh, paper towels before I do that though. But we're going to pull that thing out to the front and see if we can get it out of that holder. And then we'll try to get that out of there in a little easier position than what it's up in there right now. This little line right here is kind of in the way for doing all that. So we're going to push that out the front and we're going to try to drop it down here. We'll have to let's see if we can do that right now. All right, what I'm doing right now is holding on this uh, little bracket, kind of opening that bracket and sliding that forward. Uh, getting a little bit of gas leak out of the fuel. Dripping down on top of our towel here. Okay, I'm successful getting that uh, fuel filter to hang down right here. Pull it out of that bracket right there. Pull it to the front and dropped it down. We'll see if... Uh, now we've had a, we got a paper towels on the floor down here, catching any kind of drip coming out of our uh, unit here, and we're gonna see if we can just go ahead and do the same thing. We'll take this uh, little blue tool-looking thing off of here. Look like it's kind of deformed already. We'll shove it up in there and see if we can get that to uh, release those three little prongs in that uh, device right there, and get that filter off of there. One thing you're going to notice already, this little device has looked like it's already chewed up like hell. I mean, you know, that thing just seems to be so inadequate on old, old vehicles. If you had a new, fairly new thing, I guess it would be okay. That looked like that thing should have been much more substantial. I hadn't even done the second one yet here. And I'm going to have to use this tool again. I don't know. We'll see. I was successful in getting that on there, putting that around this other side here, and I could actually pull it back by hand. I wonder if I could just pull that uh, unit right out of there right now without even using pliers or anything. Just it's pretty far up in there. 
feels like it's maybe has released those things already. We're going to just set the camera down a second and see if we can pull on the uh, canister. While we're pulling on the little blue device there, the little blue tool. Shoving it up inside of this thing right here. It's got three little prongs that have to, three little prongs that have to open up. We'll see if that works. Hopefully it will. Okay, we were successful in getting the unit to come off of there. We just reached up with the other hand and pulled the, held on to the end of it, and it literally pulled it off finally. And we just didn't even have to use a pair of pliers or anything. Just did our fingers holding the little blue device up into that uh, area, holding that little area right there, holding it up in there, and pulling on the canister, and it did pull it out. All right, successful removal. Now let's see if the uh, reinstallation goes uh, much easier than this. This is uh, a little tougher than we uh, had anticipated, but being 18 years old truck, never been changed, I would anticipate that uh, you'd have a few problems. So here we go, going back with the new one. Alright, we're going to see if uh, this new one, whoops, let's see, it went in this way, flow should say toward the front, well, yep, there's a little arrow, so we're going to take our caps off the ends, and then we're going to shove it into this holder right here, that thing right there, alright, we'll let to take care of the camera later. Thank you. All right, I uh, removed the little caps off the end. And also I removed these uh, clips that came with the, the uh, hmm, that came with the uh, filter uh, because it has permanent ones up here on here already to hold these uh, hold these uh, clamps onto the filter. So, I've got it installed. I shoved it in there. It's into the nice and strong. Now, what I'm going to do, see if we can just shove. I don't know how. Got to watch out for the gas. Got a little bit of gas in that thing still. So, let's we'll see if we can just Shove this up on there quickly. And if you push it hard, it should clip itself up on there. Hmm. It apparently went on there already. And we're going to take this unit right here we're going to shove that up in there and then we're going to push it down now that should be on there now see if we can do the same thing to the other side okay that one slipped on there that doesn't seem to be on there yet for some reason. It never did really clip in there good. But this one did. Let's see if we can get that in there. Well, that one's in there. Let's check this one again. All right, let's get that clip off of there. Now, I'm gonna push hard on that thing. Huh. It seems to be an awful far way out. 
I'm going to grab that with both hands. That seems to be an excess amount of space in there. Compared to this side. It does not appear to be in there. Alright, I'm going to have to do that with both hands. Apparently, it's on there as tight as I can get it. It won't come off. So I'm going to put the clip back on. Alright. Apparently, the filter is on. Look at what we're going to do. We're going to go start the truck. Or we're going to prime it. By turning the key on and off about uh, three times. And let the pressure build up in there. We'll check it for leaks. Alright. Alright, here we, here we are inside the truck. We're going to turn the key on. We're going to let the uh, pressure build up. Let's see what the uh, hmm, service engine soon. Door ajar. All right, we're going to turn it off, turn it back on again. It says to uh, do this two or three times. Turned it off. All right. Put it on, and it's supposedly pressured up. Let's see if we got fuel running all over the place down here. I don't see any leaks anywhere. We're going to go under the car. We're going to double check. Right, here we are back up underneath the vehicle. We're under here and checking it for leaks. If it's pressured up, there are no leaks. We'll see what happens there. We're going to start the truck. Now that I've gotten out from underneath the truck, let's see if we can start the truck. Alright. Seems to be running alright. Let's see if we have any fuel come running out down there. So far, so good. No leaks up in there where we let the pressure off. Engine's nice and dirty, but it's running just fine. And there you have it, a successful replacement of this nasty little 18-year-old uh, uh, fuel filter. As you can tell, the little tool there really took a beating trying to take that thing off. Uh, I think it could do a little bit better with their tool, but it did work. So, uh, and by the way, the fellow that uh, had the uh, video on uh, how to change it out, give you good credit it was just the way you said it was and um, how to change a filter on a fuel filter on a 99 Ford f-150 uh, it was just the way you said it was it was really tough getting that line off the first time though uh, putting it back together with a snap no problem whatever uh, this is Dakota Fred treasure and other stuff hope you enjoyed it that's the way it is